Así que aquí está Fred Díaz, vicepresidente de operaciones, ventas y mercadeo de Nissan en Estados Unidos. Thank you, Dave. Good morning, everyone. What I uh, wanted to tell you is thank you very, very much for taking the time and effort out of your busy schedules to come here, come all the way to California to be here with us. Many of you I know from my past life, and I uh, just want you to know, although it's hard to believe it's been a year and a half, somehow or another it feels like three or four years. I guess that's <laughs> automotive years, years for you. But um, same old friend, same old friend that you guys have, have known from the past. Just uh, representing a brand that, that I am very passionate about and very proud to be representing, along with a group of great people and great products, one of which we're going to talk to you about today. I want to give you a, a very quick business update. I want to talk to you about our manufacturing growth because I think we're, we're doing some things now in the United States that I believe many of you may not be aware of from a manufacturing standpoint that is now given us essentially the biggest manufacturing plant in all of North America from all OEMs. Our fuel economy leadership, we've recently been awarded as the single best full line OEM manufacturer with the best fuel economy in the entire industry. So something we're very, very proud of as well. And our brand strength, our brand strength keeps improving, we keep growing and creating our awareness as a brand. And we need America to know that Nissan is in the heartland of the United States in Nashville, Tennessee, which is also the music capital, country music capital of the USA. And then finally, although it's only the end of November, with still a full month to go, we've already achieved our best sales year in the history, in the entire history of Nissan North America. So something we're very, very proud of. And for those of you that have known me and known me in my past life, you know that if there's one thing about me that I preach to my people day in and day out, we must remain humble and hungry. Because the second we stop being humble and hungry is the day we will absolutely crater. So let me get into it. Our manufacturing, hard to believe, some of you may know this, some of you may not know this, but almost 85% of our U.S. volume In the, in the U.S., as I mentioned, is produced locally in the United States or in North America. And our Smyrna, Tennessee plant, as I mentioned earlier, is the largest volume producing plant in the entire United States amongst all OEMs. 650,000 units in 2015. The, the level of complexity in that plant, all I know is that I'm glad I'm not a plant manager and a plant engineer because I don't know how those guys keep things straight. <clears throat> Nonetheless, they do a great job of keeping it all together and making sure that the quality that's coming out of those plants is, is uh, bar none. Cat Mississippi plant, fast on the rise and growing like crazy, becoming a global production hub, particularly thanks to Murano, now that we've brought Murano from overseas and now brought it to the United States to Cat Mississippi. That's also been a big step forward to getting us to this 85% mark of our vehicles being produced here in North America that we sell here in the United States. We actually assemble eight different vehicles there. You talk about product complexity. Very complex operation and very sophisticated operation. 1,300 jobs, of course, including 400 supplier jobs that support this Murano production and this Murano launch. Uh, with total jobs of over 6,000 for the first time, in all of history with Nissan North America. So again, manufacturing doing really, really well. We have John Martin, our Senior Vice President of Manufacturing, who is bar none the best that we have in the entire corporation worldwide, who has come to the United States and been a breath of fresh air for us in getting some of our quality issues that we stubbed our toes on in the last couple of years corrected. So uh, he's all on top of that. Pues ahí tiene la actualización de la forma en que los negocios de Nissan aquí en Estados Unidos están creciendo de forma impresionante bajo la dirección de Fred Díaz, que es el vicepresidente de Mercadeo, Operaciones y Ventas. Y como nos estaba diciendo ahí en la presentación, Nissan está cambiando en muchas formas y una de ellas es eh, su nuevo vicepresidente de Mercadeo y Comunicaciones, que viene nada más y nada menos que Disney. Así que vamos a escuchar la presentación que hizo Fred Díaz de Jeremy Tucker. So, um, the last thing that I'm going to leave you with is the fact that We're changing. We're making a lot of changes philosophically, strategically, and also from a personnel standpoint. There were a couple of people that may have uh, scratched their heads on this one, but we brought a new vice president of marketing to our fold. And I specifically wanted to go outside of the automotive industry because of the hundreds of people, felt like a hundred, it was 
it was literally about 24 people that I interviewed for this particular marketing job. The ideas, the thoughts, the strategic thinking that they had was the same old, same old. Things that we've seen in, in the U.S. automotive business for 15 years. I wanted somebody with fresh ideas, new ways of thinking, so I decided to go outside of the industry. And what we found was an amazing talent who within two or three weeks' time made a huge difference with a background at Procter & Gamble, Frito-Lay, and of course most recently the Strategic Marketing Vice President at Disney. So quite a pedigree, and obviously has lived up to his building in the short time that he's been here. He's going to talk to you about more of our marketing plans. So please welcome our new Vice President of Marketing, Mr. Jeremy Tucker. All right. Thank you. Well, I'm excited to be here today. Um, again, Jeremy Tucker, and I am the new Vice President of Marketing, Media, and Communications. And um, I'm just excited to tell you a little bit about the plans that we have for Murano and a little bit about myself just to get started. So as Fred mentioned, uh, my passion is building big brands and driving growth. I learned that at PepsiCo, and I'm a bit of a storyteller, and I get that from Disney. And my journey here is just to accelerate the journey that Nissan is already on and just take it to the next level. And I can tell you that just after a few months in, there's been no better time to be a part of the Nissan family, and I'm completely blessed to be here because there's a relentless energy, focus, and passion that the men and the women in the building bring to work every day. Um, it's electric, it's contagious, and nowhere is this more evident than on the new Murano. So I'm gonna to talk to you a little about marketing. Now I'm gonna be the marketing guy who's not gonna show you a single slide. This is it, my title slide. So I'm just gonna to talk to you a little bit about what we're doing. And this car is the most social car we've ever designed. So the challenge is how do you bring that to life from a marketing communication perspective? How do you showcase the breathtaking design, the upscale interior, and the purposeful technology? Well, I think we've got a great plan to do just that. And it all started last month when we started our teaser campaign through our digital platforms. That's going very well for us right now. We have a lot of traffic, a lot of interest, and we're letting consumers discover this vehicle and see the features little by little and get deeper and deeper and deeper into the purchase funnel. But it's gonna start to amp up when we launch our television spot. And what I'll tell you is that this spot, just like our car, is gorgeous. And I, I really have to say, it is a fantastic spot. And it starts with the story of two couples going for an unbelievable night out on the town and experiencing this uh, journey through the new Murano. We open up with a couple in the back seat actually plugging in their iPhone and queuing up a remix of the classic Dean Martin song, Ain't That a Kick in the Head. Now, it's an updated version of the song, and as the driver turns up the volume and controls the ambient light in the Murano, the drive expands to open up to a lounge. It's got swagger, sophistication, and it's just a breathtakingly beautiful lounge where the couples go out and have an amazing night of dancing and having fun with one another, and then they drive off into the moonlight at the very end, of course, courtesy of the panoramic moon roof and the Murano itself. I would love to show you the spot, but it's in post-production right now, so unfortunately I can't, so you're going to have to just listen to my storytelling on it. But what I'll tell you is I'm very proud of the team and how this is brought together and brought to life because much like this room, every single element in the spot has been purposely selected to bring to life the design and the features of the Murano. And what do I mean about that? Why am I so geeked out about it? Well, when you see the spot, what you'll notice is the windows in the spot itself are the V-motion front grille of the front of the Murano. The chairs in the lounge are actually our zero-gravity seats. The tables, the end tables, the coffee tables are actually the center consoles with the ambient lighting. Every single element of the car comes to life in a very, very purposeful way. It's beautiful, it's stunning, and it's show-stopping just like the Murano. And it really brings to life our strategy of innovation that excites. But it's one piece of a larger story because we have a full 360-degree marketing campaign in place. Yes, we have television, we have digital, we have out of home, and of course, we have social media. But what I'll tell you is this all drops on one of the most social days of our entire year. December 31st, New Year's Eve. That's when we hit, and that's when we go hard with our marketing. So I'm very, very excited about this, uh, the launch. I'm excited about the breathtaking car and just how beautiful and amazing it is. It makes my job very easy to market a car like this. Um, and 2015 is going to be a banner year for us at Nissan. So with that, I'm going to say thank you and goodbye, and I want to introduce and bring to the stage Ken Lee, who's going to talk to you a little bit more about the design of the car. Thank you.
Este programa fue una producción de National Latino Broadcasting.